Rebound, here it is. Going to throw it long. That's a pick. Look in the side of the ball. That's a pick. Picked oh. up, knocked down, and, and Clemson will win it in overtime. 51-45. I love radio calls, right? I mean, you you hear the microphone, you know, they get a, you get the microphone all jumbled up and they're partying in the booth. I mean, I, I love it. I absolutely, that's fantastic. Clemson beats Wake Forest. If you listen to this podcast last week, which you should be listening every single week, episodes Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday, but you would have heard me told you last Thursday that that was going to be a difficult game for Clemson. And it was. Wake Forest was 17 and 2 in their last 19 home games. This is a team that was the only team to gain 400 yards on Clemson a year ago. They did it again this weekend. The difference for Clemson, and this is where Clemson's fans have got to be so ecstatic about what happened, is that your quarterback has finally shown up. This is the guy that we all thought we were going to get after he played great against Notre Dame when Trevor Lawrence was banged up a couple of years ago. DJ Uyunglele finally has come of age. And this is great news for Clemson because they needed it. He throws for 300 yards for the first time since that Notre Dame game I was talking about. And it's the first three game stretch in a row that he's had multiple touchdown passes in his career for the Clemson Tigers. But that's not even the best part. Because listen, he could have thrown for 300 yards against, you know, Furman or Georgia Tech in the opener. And that would have been all well and good. But no, no. Why was it better this time? Why do I take more from it if I'm a Clemson fan? Because you had to have it. Because Wake was putting you in the blender. They were coming for you. You're on the road. And DJ had to play that well in order to win. This was not mop-up time. This was not, you know, stress-free yardage that a lot of guys can put up in college football. This was gotta-have-it yardage. And he played great. So if I'm a Clemson fan, I feel really good moving forward. Really good. In particular with who they've got coming up with North Carolina State. That's the toughest test remaining on their schedule, I I would say by a long shot, because I just don't think Notre Dame is that great. Uh, this year but I think this is the biggest challenge left on their schedule they only lost by a score on the road last year to North Carolina State so why am I I'm like raving about Joel they it was Wake Forest they went to overtime shouldn't you be concerned no I'm not concerned actually about Clemson why am I not concerned about Clemson because they finally have an offense now and a quarterback that seems to be playing well week after week and their defense I'm not worried about because Wake Forest always does this against them. Like there's there's something about that matchup that is just Wake Forest was the only team to gain 400 yards on Clemson last year. Now they gained another 400 yards. That doesn't mean Clemson's defense is bad. Clemson's defense was what? The second best scoring defense in the land last year. So I don't think that they're going to be bad moving forward just because they went to overtime with Wake Forest on the road. Sometimes you have to look fa- look look past these these sentiments. And, and really look and dive deep and be like, that was a bad matchup. They had to get a win based on their quarterback playing great, and they got it. So moving forward, the sentiment should be really positive. Because now you get NC State at home, DJ playing well, and I still think a really good defense. I think Clemson is in a really, really good spot. Call me crazy. I, I heard a bunch of people being like, man, that Clemson. Well, I guess their defense is not great. Ah, pump the brakes. I think, there's, I think their defense is fine. I still think that they're going to beat North Carolina State this week. And in large part, due to what their offense proved, and more in particular, their quarterback. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoy that clip, make sure you click subscribe somewhere down here. From game highlights to exclusive interviews and rankings, we've got everything you need as a college football fan right here. College football on Fox.